six ways God knows us. Of all the ways man are known to God according to Job chapter 34, verse 21, for God's eyes are on the paths people choose. He surveys each of their steps. It is also indicated in Psalm chapter 1, verse 6, for the Lord knows the way of righteousness, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Today, let us be comforted by the word of God in that God sees us in all circumstances. 1. In times of troubles. Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and He knows those who trust in Him. God knows all the saints when trouble comes because He is a fortress for the believers, according to Psalm chapter 8, verses 1 through 6. I love you, eternal one, source of my power. The eternal is my rock, my fortress, and my salvation. He is my true God, the stronghold in which I hide. My strong shield, the horn that calls forth help, and my tall wall tower. I called out to the Eternal, who is worthy to be praised. That's how I'll be rescued from my enemies. The bonds of death encircled me. The currents of destruction tugged at me. The sorrows of the grave wrap around me. The traps of the death lay in wait for me. In my time of need, I called to the Eternal. I begged my true God for help. He heard my voice echo up to His temple, and my cry came to His ears. Be encouraged, child of God. God knows your situation or predicament. Let us be comforted by the Word of God and that God sees us in all circumstances. 2. At Everyday Tasks John chapter 1, verses 47-49 through 49. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said, Now here comes a true son, an honest man with no hidden motive. Nathanael was stunned and said, But you've never met me. How do you know anything about me? Jesus answered, Nathanael, right before Philip came to you, I saw you sitting under the shade of a fig tree. Nathanael blurted out, Teacher, you are truly the Son of God and the King. We know an amazing encounter here that teaches us that Jesus is interested in us and we are always under His watchful eye. It was such a simple thing to Nathaniel that Jesus had seen him before meeting him physically. You and I are yet to meet him physically, but he sees and knows us, which was a stunning illumination to Nathaniel. He sees you, child of God. He knows, child of God. Nothing is hidden from him. When you board the bus, the train, the taxi, the plane, you name it, he sees. Let me change it a little bit, child of God. He knows when you disobey his word when you lie a little, when you sip a little bit, when you peep at porno. He knows. He knows. Let us be comforted by the word of God and that God sees us in all circumstances. 3. God knows believers by name. According to John chapter 10, verses 2 through 5, the shepherd walks openly through the entrance. The guard who is posted to protect the sheep opens the gate for the shepherd, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When all the sheep have been gathered, he walks on ahead of them, and they follow him because they know his voice. The sheep would not be willing to follow a stranger. They run because they don't know the voice of a stranger. He knows us by name. In whatever language we speak, he knows our individual names. God is so clinical, according to Luke chapter 10, verse 6 through 8. What is the value of your soul to God? Could your worth be defined by an amount of money? God doesn't abandon or forget even the small sparrow He has made. How then could He forget or abandon you? What about the seemingly minor issues of your life? Do they matter to God? Of course they do. So you never need to worry for you are more valuable to God than anything else in this world. I can assure you of this, if you don't hold back but freely declare in public that I am the Son of Man, the Messiah, I will freely declare to all the angels of God that you are mine. Let us be comforted by the Word of God and that God sees us in all circumstances. 4. 
God knows you through intimate acquaintanceship. According to John chapter 10, verse 14, I alone am the good shepherd, and I know those whose hearts are mine, for they recognize me and know me. Just as my Father knows my heart and I know my Father's heart, I am ready to give my life for the sheep. We are intimate with the Lord when we confess. Psalm chapter 23, verse 1 through 4. The Lord is my best friend and my shepherd. I always have more than enough. He offers a resting place for me in His luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace, the quiet brook of bliss. That's where He restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along in His footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to His name. Lord, even when your path takes me through the valley of the deepest darkness, fear will never conquer me, for you already have. You remain close to me and lead me through it all the way. Your authority is my strength and my peace. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely, for you are near. Let us be comforted by the word of God and that God sees us in all circumstances. 5. God knows us through our genuine love toward Him according to 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 3. But if a person passionately loves God, he will possess the knowledge of God. Or much better still, Galatians chapter 4, verse 9 explains this passion better. But now, when you are just beginning to know the one true God, actually, He is showing how completely He knows you. How can you turn back to weak and worthless idols made by men, icons of these spiritual powers? Haven't you endured enough bondage to these breathless idols? If our love for Christ is fake, He knows. If our love for Christ is true, He knows. You and I can fool the world, but not God. Beware! Let us be comforted by the Word of God and that God sees us in all circumstances. God knows us through the sure foundation of Christian hope. According to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19, But the firm foundation of God has written upon it these two inscriptions. The Lord God recognizes those who are truly His, and everyone who worships the name of the Lord Jesus must forsake wickedness. This is explained even better in another version. Regardless of what they do or say, God's foundation is strong and firmly in place, etched with this seal. The Lord knows the ones who belong to Him, and everyone who invokes the name of the Lord ought to stop doing what they know to be wrong. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11 There is, in fact, only one foundation, and no one can lay any foundation other than Jesus the Anointed. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 20 through 22 you are being built on a solid foundation, the message of the prophets and the voices of God's chosen emissaries with Jesus, the anointed himself, the precious cornerstone. The building is joined together stone by stone, all of us chosen and sealed in him, rising up to become a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you are being built together, creating a sacred dwelling place among you where God can live in the spirit. All of the ways of man are known to God according to Job chapter 34, verse 21. For God's eyes are on the paths people choose. He surveys each of their steps. It is also indicated in Psalm chapter 1, verse 6. For the Lord knows the way of the righteousness, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. God keep you and bless you.